actually just getting to be here is exactly why I came today, just to be here in your presence. We're everywhere. Uh, yeah. But um, in watching a couple of the DVDs, I've actually, I can tell looking at people's eyes that while they're here, there's actually something different going on than other than just the conversation that's going on here. We are communicating on more than a verbal level, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, part of, for me, is like, it's, I've always said, I'm not from around here. It's like I've always known. It's like I'm like not from here that I knew that there was somewhere else that I came from. Well, we would describe you in a little different way than that. We don't disagree with that, but we would more pointedly say, if we were standing in your physical shoes, I've always been able to discern a resonance that I can't accomplish easily with other humans. Yes. Which always made me feel a little bit like a fish out of water. Yes. But I realized that it's not because I'm different from them. In that sense, I was the same as most of them. Yes. So I belong here, but it would serve me well to reach for resonance with who I really am while I am here so that all of me could be present in each moment in which I focus. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of the second part of it is several times during my life, um, I've been given the message and literally this past January heard it distinctly in my head. I've been given the message and this week I had clear enough pipes. Some of it got through. Yeah. It, I mean, very clearly, as clear as I'm speaking to you, the message is you're trying to move too fast. And I've been given that message numerous times throughout my life. That's good. Think about the specifics of trying to move too fast. Yeah. When you take that statement literally, there are certain laws of physics and time and space mm -hmm. and flexibility and adaptability and isn't when you get out of balance like that isn't that usually when something goes amiss yeah so what is it really saying oh I'm, i was very aware that um i'm vibrationally out of balance yeah i'm trying to get somewhere faster than my vibration i guess is up to esther remembers it most as a child wanting to move around her little town and being on foot and just not being able to propel her little body fast enough down the street yeah. to satisfy where she wanted to be when she wanted to be there and there just were not enough conveyances that made enough difference she really wanted to be in an Audi R8 and there wasn't even <laughs> one then yeah yeah but it was that feeling of wanting to be someplace that I'm not believing yeah. that there's more satisfaction somewhere else than right here is a distortion of your now moment of focus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to be able to communicate with y'all, like, or have y'all be able to communicate with me clearer, that, because, um, like, when I heard the voice in my head, I actually like hearing the voices in my head. I like having that clear, distinct. Well, you know, the voice that you hear, in, the ability. voice that you hear in your head, when you actually hear something that feels audible, when the thought actually has enough momentum that it plays out in a sentence that you actually believe that you're feeling volume about that just means your pipes are wide open yeah and that's how clear I want to be all the time but when you say I want to be that clear all the time then that doesn't give you any leeway for expansion it doesn't give okay. you any leeway for letting what is be you're putting sort of impossible expectations okay. upon yourself which then causes you to jump on that disc more and disallow all the more. Okay. Can you feel how much softer and more in alignment it is to say, I'm pretty good at this mm -hmm. and getting better all the time. And there's no real rush. We want to go back and address that part of your conversation, because if you accept that you are an eternal being, then we really have to say, what is the rush? No. What are you rushing to? All of you, what are you rushing to? If you will always be and you will always be expanding and you have the potential of finding resonance with your furthermost expansion then do you want all the food that you will ever eat for all of this lifetime no. to come to you today or would you like it to come incrementally so that you can enjoy it what is the rush so there's something in there that is causing a shortage consciousness 
and we would like to say to you that what the rush is is that in standing in a place where you are focused upon the absence of something that you want you're rushing toward the presence of something that you want but you can't get to the presence of something that you want when you're focused upon the absence of something that you want and if you weren't focused upon the absence of what you want then you wouldn't have that sensation so isn't that all pretty clear about what to do every time you feel like rushing sit down and go slower okay really and there's one other, it's kind of a, just a curiosity question I have. Um, Before you go there, we want to finish this up because okay. we want to say, we've been saying, get out ahead of it vibrationally. Get a, out ahead of the manifestation vibrationally. So if you're focused upon a manifestation and it's not coming fast enough, now you're practicing the vibration that slows it down. That is a pipe clogging experience. Okay. But when you get out ahead of it vibrationally, you do that by thinking about it at a time that you're not already stalled out. Here's what we mean. Imagine standing with your car on top of a hill in San Francisco and the brake is not on and the car is not in gear. And you could just nudge that car a little bit with your knee and it would begin to move down the hill. And then if you came to your senses as it just barely began to move, you could then step out in front of the car and just stop it with your body. Momentum started, but it didn't get far before you stopped the momentum. Now envision being at the bottom of the hill with that car coming at you and think about the difference in the momentum. So this conversation really is about momentum. Sometimes you've got momentum going and you're at the bottom of the hill and we say step out of the way if you can but in either case you're not going to slow the momentum that's not the time to slow the momentum and sometimes you've just got momentum going don't worry about slowing it because you have plenty of other options really you have plenty of other opportunities but every chance you get you're often at a place where you get to define the momentum you get to choose what disc you get on. You get to choose how much attention you give to it. You get to choose the words that you speak. You have so much control over the beginning of momentum and no control over the ending of momentum. Make sense? So when we talk about getting out ahead of something vibrationally, we're talking about at low momentum times, think. And at fast momentum times, take a nap. Unless it's a momentum that you really want to keep playing out. In other words, when you get in the middle of a conversation and you can feel that you're doing yourself and whoever you're talking to damage by continuing the conversation, bail out of it. In other words, do anything you can bail out as fast as you can, but don't beat up on yourself when momentum takes you someplace that you didn't mean to go, but be smart about getting the right momentum going as often as you can. That's what we mean about getting out ahead of things vibrationally. So that sensation of. I know there's something that I, I'm headed towards doing. That momentum that's doesn't just serve you. That take, momentum, take the nap then. That it's... momentum doesn't serve you. Okay. 